five minutes. Hello. So I will uh, squeeze two lighting talks into one. So this will be fast. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, uh, we released this uh, MISPGUARD tool that it's a man in the middle add-on that helps inspect and block events that are trying to leave your MISP instance. So it's based on man in the middle proxy, an open source tool. Uh, it's very, yeah, it's an awesome project. So if you don't know it, check it out. Um, yeah, so the way it works, it's an add-on. So man in the middle proxy supports Python add-ons that you can easily customize. And um, yeah, setup is very straightforward. You clone the repo, install some Python requirements, and run the man in the middle dump in this case if you want a console output could be mine in the middle proxy, and you get a console uh, UI that you can interact with, or mine in the middle web, and you get a web UI that you can also interact with. Um, so yeah, the, the way it works, it's, yeah, you have to configure this uh, mine in the middle proxy as a proxy in your MISP instance. And this will uh, check all the events that are going out or your, of your MISP instance via uh, push synchronization method. And for the pull synchronization method, if an external MISP instance is trying to sync with you via pull, I mean, yeah, pull events from your instance, then the external instance should connect to this uh, proxy instead of your internal, let's say, MISP instance, and it also will check these events. So the way it works, you have a JSON file that you can define different block rules. Currently, it supports uh, tag blocking, distribution levels, sharing groups, attribute types, attribute categories, and object types. Uh, this is like if you are extremely paranoid because some of these mechanisms are already in place in MISP, but l let's say that you really want to assure that nothing of this in this list lives, then this proxy will inspect the content of the event and drop the f HTTP flow if it matches one of these. So here is a sample of the yeah, console output, it does a lot of logging. So keep in mind that it blocks, but it doesn't raise an alert or anything. So you should check this log with any tool that you yeah, use currently to alert. And then, for example, in this example, there was an event that was trying to leave our miss instance and match this blog rule that we find that was no TLP red events. And um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, it will be, it's still experimental. It will be probably change in the near future in add some new features. Um, yeah, I will switch to the uh, next. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was not going to do this presentation, but it was triggered by the yesterday's presentations of Robert of uh, Power BI. So very quickly, some months ago, I did this uh, uh, project. It's using Grafana to display uh, yeah, MISP information. So well, everyone knows about Grafana. It's probably used in your SOC currently. The setup is also very straightforward and uh, you just need to run a, a Python script that p pushes the Serum queue feed to an uh, InfluxDB database. Um, you can also set up a Telegraph agent to push uh, HTTP logs and stuff from MISP logs that are not yeah, strictly MISP uh, data model related things, but for monitoring is quite convenient. And yeah, this is just a screenshot and you can yeah, do time range filtering, you can monitor different instance, uh, compare uh, different instance, and yeah, it's all in this uh, GitHub repo. It's very well, I mean, it's, I did, but it's very, ex <laughs> this, 
detailly documented. So if you have any issues anyway, you can reach out and that's pretty much it. Perfectly on time. Great. Thank you.